next legacy. This is the hey. AMPS line branded. Hey, hey. This is Queen Hi, how you doing? Yes, this is she. Queen, how you doing, my dear? Everything is in divine order. Thank you. How are you doing? I am doing great. I'm doing great. Welcome to the show. And I've been I've been talking mm-hmm. about the the global city of wellness dot com and some and supporting your 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 life movement. And I got to tell you, you know, upon doing homework and checking you out, I'm I'm um I didn't mention you as an internationally well known best selling author and the whole mm-hmm. grind. I I really appreciate the motivation that you're trying to be able to give our people. Oh, it's um, it's a pleasure. You know, I had once healing myself, I couldn't help but give the love back. So yes, this has been a a wonderful path that I'm on, and that I'm, you know, encouraging our people to take the same journey that saved my life. <laughs> it's a life saving right. journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and with you being a mm-hmm. um, health practitioner as well, and I was I was talking to the uh, the listeners this morning about just. Making sure you take care of your 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 body, but also taking care of your mind, and how your mind mm-hmm. is really important, and it's that catalyst to be able to do all things with your body. Like, you know, of course, you know, as you get older, your body's not going to be like it once was when you were sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. But there's a lot of things that you can do with your your body that mentally, it's got to start with you. Correct? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well. You know, it's it's very interesting because I'm gonna I'm actually just turned sixty, and pretty much I can do most of the things I did when I was in my twenties, and I I would I put to that is that I've been living a certain lifestyle that I encourage everyone to live, which is to live close to nature, and mm-hmm. whatever you need, it's really sustain yourself from the garden, eat the garden foods, and in this generation, it's a fast food generation, grab and go put anything in, and the fuel that um, one is running off of is depleting. And so even right. though someone may be young, they feel old, they're tired, they wake up tired, they go to sleep tired, they're stressed out, and that's not a part of our natural state. Our natural state is to have vitality and energy and to be of good health and not to be in pain. The average person is in pain emotionally, psychologically, relationship-wise, and it's because of our lifestyle choices. So with this, I'm just saying take a better choice every day. And, with you know, some feel like they, you know, they, they just like that taste that they're eating. There's a song my son says, it tastes so good, but it hurts so bad. That we're eating ourselves into poor health and, to, and, and we're then creating relationships on the same energy path. It's, a, it's an energy and a frequency. What you put into your body, it emanates what you attract and what you overcome and what you take on. So the fuel that we use must come from whole foods, must come from a natural source. And with mm-hmm. that, the mind, the body, and the spirit becomes harmonized. And so with this work, my work is to wake up, that, uh, the, uh, to, to teach at least one in every family this health care, this holistic natural health care, which I, I consider a holistic first aid. But every family should know basic holistic first aid. How to eat to live. How to use your, have your kitchen transform into a healing pharmacy. How to allow your bathroom to become a hydrotherapy room. And, and each room is dedicated to becoming a wellness room. So now with your personal healing of yourself and taking this on as heal by self, and then activating the home as healing stations, and then in the family, the family has family issues, and you taking charge, you be the one taking charge sure. to help the family members who are ready. It's creating a, a, a I, when I, I started when I was 17, and I heard this music when I was 17, 1969, and it was the Little Black Shops, Andrew Davis, Malcolm X, the Calvary Shells, and the Dashikis. And one of the things that I heard from the shop was um, Sarah Sonia's song, Creator Has a Master Plan peace and happiness throughout the land. And that stayed with me throughout the years. It stays with me today. That that plan is in us. And the plan showed up in the books that I've written. I didn't know that that was the plan that was t- channeling through. And with that plan, then this, this is a strategy that can take us out of harm's way. They're closing mm-hmm. two hospitals down right now for September. It's slated that it's one is 10 minutes away from where I live in, in Bed-Stuy, Crown Heights. And the other one's 15 minutes away. Now, because they take care of thousands the people within the one year, what happens when most of our African-American, Caribbean people, Latino people are getting their health care 
from um, emergency ward, emergency right. ward we're under. And then we, when those two hospitals closed down, the hospital behind me, which is 15, 20 minutes away, those people are going to go to that hospital, and if it takes eight hours for one person to be seen on the norm in an emergency situation, then if you have two hospitals closed down, it can take two and three days. People are going to die. Mm -hmm. They're going to pass away through the cracks. So then we have to create something that people can work with, setting up the healing in their own home, something, some crisis that comes up, some things that they have that knowledge they can overcome. My father, um, through my mother, to marriage, my, my mother, he was passing away. I saw him passing away. They had called the ambulance. I had, I had formulas. I gave him a drop of breath of life, which is eucalyptus and peppermint from the garden, on his tongue, it's an oil base, and he just, mm-hmm. the, this last breath that he was taking, it's this gray matter that was coming out, that you could hear that was it. That mm-hmm. came back in his mouth, he took his deep breath like he had oxygen tank coming in, and then by the time the emergency picked him up, he was having a conversation. And then wow. they had to pump him up and do a lot of stuff, and, it took, and those are kinds of emergency things that we can do, simple things that are already in your house. Just your shopping alone is your health care bill. If you don't have health insurance, a lot of people don't have health insurance. Where's your health insurance? It's in the food that you purchase. The quality Absolutely. food you purchase. We need food yep. co-ops. We need people to be educated. Even the mayor, he does something on um, the sugar. He says, well, he says, I, he's doing it because there's so much diabetics, uh, some diabetic conditions in the community, in particular our young people type, type 2 diabetes. So between mm-hmm. that diabetic piece going up and the obesity, he's, he's connecting it to the sugar. Sugar's one of the things. There's other things, too, but he's starting somewhere. And so we, but they're fighting him. You know, the people in the restaurants, but the people in the restaurants know they can use a sweetener that's not going to destroy the person's brain now. It's not going to show their nervous system. It's not going right. to deplete them and have them act violent. So this should, and, and have them overeat and be emotionally chained to the food. So if the people are educated, you have to put a mandate on them. You could just say, this is the education. We need to put education into the, educate the people. These are the alternatives. I created right. a pyramid structure to show you the alternatives. Everything that you want to eat that's going to destroy the body, I said, use these alternatives. They can see it in five minutes. A child can look at that chart and say, oh, I can shop this way. So when you shop, you're getting your medication. Mm-hmm. That's, the food right. is the medicine. That's right. And this is, a move. this is the people's wellness movement. I'm declaring this is the people's wellness movement. And, it's, and back in the day was power to the people. I believe it then, and I believe it today. The power to heal ourselves in the people. The city of Wells is based on the, the city. Is, the people make up the city. If you heal the people, you heal the city. The city's changed. The individual tra- transforms. The families transform into wellness. So black people, African-American people, Latino people, we're no longer a health travesty. We're no right. longer just the lowest on the bottom of all diseases. No, oh, it's actually, we're the top of all diseases. So mm-hmm. everybody else is like, they're like uh, 2%, and we're like 10, 12% up. And then, I, then I'm partnering with Bob Law, who's rallying with me with this. And then his, his, his research is that there's six more fast food restaurants in our community than any other right. community. And then right. the commercials, the marketing uh, training of the looking at what's on TV, it pushes us into that direction. So you think you just want to eat that because it tastes good. No, you're, you're being trained and mm-hmm. subconsciously and consciously to desire something that is destroying you. And That's that right. destruction is causing all of the health issues that we're having. And it breaks yep. down your mental body. They have food fat flavors. They have um, chemists who put together certain formulas so that when we taste it, we, it affects us emotionally and we feel comforted. Or we mm-hmm. trigger something in our brain so we feel more connected and more relaxed. Yep. It's temporary loose before it strips away like a thief in the night. So the yep. other tip, my whole thing is we're having a rally um, and we're starting it, with, which is a, well, one, a, one day, a, a one day community detox, which is going to be on this Saturday, the 24th. It's a community service. You can come with no funds, <laughs> but you can come and get <laughs> tonics all day long. But then right. you're healing tonic every hour and the hour. So we'll come, with, come sick, come wounded, come hurt, come burdened. When you leave that day, we send you from 12 to 6. You're going to be a new being. I'm, I'm, I'm partnering. My sons have been with me from before they were born. Now they've been walking this path with me. One such is Supernova Song Hip Hop Medicine Man. He's going to say, it's, it's wellness now, and then I have my other son to my uh, left of me, and here's this health and wellness thing, health and wellness together. And so we're partnering with those who believe in this, 
that we all have the power, there's healers, that we all, the healers need to come together. We're too divided, right. divide and conquer. We have your religion, my religion, your way, your way. Come on, let's come together with the good that you have for that's the right. community and let's raise the people up. So that's what that's my story. Ooh, I'm inspired by this young lady right here, Queen of Fours, I guess, on the AM buzz. And, <laughs> and, and you said something that really, that, that, that really I take to heart, too, because remember, I mean, I'm, I'm going to take, take myself back, and, and hopefully you can remember mm-hmm. this, too, during the generation that wasn't too long ago in a lot of people's eyes, in my opinion. Remember the days where, you know, either, you know, you know your, your, your parents or, you know, someone in your family took you to a field, and, you know, you, you picked your own corn, you picked your own peas. You did that sometime in your, in, your, in your life, in your childhood, during that generation span. I remember doing that when I was younger. My grandma used to take me, and she used to take me to do, um, you know, do everything, not just picking other fruits, but the vegetables mm-hmm. and everything of that nature, too. We used to do that, do it faithfully. We used to, mm-hmm. you know, have that in our lives that was important that we understood exactly not just what we were picking but what we were eating and why we were doing it too because it was natural Mm. it was this it was that we don't do that anymore we don't do that anymore people seem to get Mm -hmm. distracted now by like you said the fast foods and you know our younger generation seems to not understand the importance of not just taking care of yourself physically but mentally under, getting mm-hmm. yourself to understand exactly why it is what we do and how we were able to live as long doing what we were doing back then. Why Why do you mm-hmm. think that it's, mm-hmm. you know, with all these distractions these younger kids got, and I know you and your mm-hmm. sons and, you know, we talked about, you know, Supernova as well, is, you know, why why has it gotten to the point where a lot of these younger generation kids and young adults seem to not understand that it's it's important to start that journey early with taking care of your body and your mind. Well, it ha- it starts with the parents. If the parents fall short, the children will fall short. I have parents will come and say, "Well, could you see my child for consultations? They have this issue or that issue." And I say, "Sure, but you have to be in that consultation because it's you. It's you're, mm-hmm. you're passing a legacy of disease, or you're passing a legacy of wellness. What are you doing, and how are you living?" You can't be eating one thing and the child eating something different. What the child is seeing is an example. So if you lay a strong foundation, they will see that as a strength. But then, as you know, there's also the commercials and the marketing. Television isn't for, about programming. It's not really the programming. Television is actually about the commercial. And mm-hmm. the money that's made is made in the commercial. So that yep. even you'll see that when, when the show is done and the commercial starts, the, the, the volume goes up really high. They really want you to get that commercial. So that's the investment. So what a lot of things that we are craving is a, a mental warfare. <laughs> so it's going into your consciousness. You may fall asleep on that TV, and now it's all the way in. And you'll wake up and say, oh, I think I want some of that whatever. And you're thinking it's you. It's not even you. It's the, it's the power of marketing. So right. when I saw something, I, I was in shock. I, had, I got an attitude in the kitchen because it was like a couple with a young uh, neo-so, young sister and the brother, and he was um, by a tree, and they were just like smiling. I thought, oh, that's lovely. I'm thinking it's almost like a movie. A love story. And then she said, no, da 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 I said, what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so that's what's going to make us loving? Okay. <laughs> and then I saw another one. Which, it was um, it was a mother. Grandmother was about to come in, but they were making grandmother's biscuits and, you know, home cooking and the family's coming together. And grandmother mm-hmm. come in and she see the bag on the table and they say, grandmother, this is who's giving to us this food now, this warm, loving food. Ba da ba ba ba, we got it again. Oh, they got us again. I said they are jacking us up, and we're trying to believe in this mess. And then what happens is they then give you money. I will not take no money from that realm. I, I'm not gonna name no names. I'm not taking all that money because if you take that money, you you, you know, like you sign in it's blood. It's blood money. Right. And then, okay, yes, we'll, we'll give you a lot of money, Queen, to really move this, this wellness globally. As long as you take us with you. I'm not taking my people to hell, okay? That's right. So it's no need for me to even go there with that. I, I said that's why the power's in the people, not the corporation. It's in the people. And when the right. people are educated, the people, there's an uprise that the people will wake up to and begin not cursing any realm. 
but mm-hmm. actually harmonize yourself. I work with the, the medical realm. I have a, a home girl. Her name is Dr. Bernard Sheridan. We bought it five years ago, and she's medical, and I'm holistic. But we were looking for each other. I was looking wow. for a, a, a physician that would clinically prove that my work does work. I know it works, and the people will say it works, but I want to be able to, no matter what realm you put me in, I'll be able to say, yes, it does, and this is my proof, however small it is. And then mm-hmm. she, I was looking for her, and I met this doctor. She gave me the price of what it would cost to take a group through under my program. I said, I don't have that kind of money. I've got cre- to be creative and cre- attract to me what I need. So I attracted her, but she was also looking for someone like me. She had a lot of wow. her clients are, for, are patients are from, from the island, and they already know about the roots and the mm-hmm. natural things that they should be doing, but they have all these chronic diseases. And she said, well, you, it's not going to overcome with just one herb. There's something that's missing. So my piece is lifestyle. Shift right. your lifestyle. It's not going to come right. in a little tablet. It's not going to come in one vitamin. It's not going to come just one juice. It's your whole attitude that has to change. Your body, your mind, mm-hmm. your spirit, your relationships, all that has to become holistic and natural. So she bonded to that lifestyle teaching. And so we came together. So for one year, I came into her clinic. And I spoke. She said, I'm going to give you a topic a month. She gave me, speak on diabetes and what to do naturally. I thought, this is revolutionary. She wanted to know what to do naturally. I said, okay. The next month it was, what do you do for obesity? Next month, what do you do for fibroids? Next month, what do you do for prostate cancer? What do you do? So I went to 12 different lectures that I did in her clinic. At the end of that time, I said, well, you know, it's time for me to do this clinical testing. She said, well, I'm a scientist, and you're going to do this work. You're going to present to, uh, we're going to gather the people together, some of my patients, some of your clients. So we gather 29 people together to test this model of the 21-day detox and the 12 weeks based on my 21-day kit formulas, my charts for the kitchen, the kitchen kitchen pharmacy, the books and so on, and teaching them, get in the kitchen, show them what to do at her, at her clinic, what to do in terms of the food as medicine. So she, and then at the end of the session, it would be at the nursing station, and the products would be there. And they would say, well, Dr. Sheridan, what should we do for this? Queen I already told you. She said she put the clay on the knee. That's arthritis. To just have that kind of coming together where there's no battlefield. We're not going to battle. Right. We're going to harmonize. Right. Find the good right. that we have in each other. Not, and, and some people, when they come see me, I tell them, I said, listen, can you see your physician? Um, but after a month, you go back to your physician, the physician will cut back on your medication because you're living according to nature. And you're giving the body what the body needs. And so they don't have to choose and get scared to death, like, oh, my gosh, I'm coming to a woman, and she's going to tell her what to do. But I have my doctor tell her what to do. No, it's no, uh-huh, it's, it's no fight. That's why even with this, it's not about someone's religion. It's all these, it's, it's, I don't know what your religion, Christian, Muslim, high Christian, I don't care what it is, your book, Indeed. whatever it is. Can we come together on one common goal? Do you That's want right. to live a full life with quality? You want to be in your right, right mind? Are your children right. drugged out on sugar, uh, uh, impersonating real food? Sugar is not a mood swing. They can't hear you. They, they're, they're, they're short patient. There's battles in the house. After, just check out the holidays. After the Christmas dinner, the Thanksgiving dinner, there's a battlefield. Somebody's going to mm-hmm. get up, get off. Somebody's going to start yelling. Somebody's going to start crying. It's mm-hmm. right after the meal. It's That's like right. Chemical, That's right. Meal, but the chemicals in the food. And it's having mm-hmm. a chemical reaction to an organic body. It's an inorganic food. People don't know that. And so they have a lot of these different kind of reactions. And the emergency was are filled up during the holidays more than any other time. If people realized that, then they would at least take a lemon water every morning. Indeed. <laughs> it was like a right. little thing that would Indeed. take them closer to their wholeness. That's right. And my queen, Queen of Food, our guest on the AM Buzz. And before we let you go, um, a lot of people are, are talking about um, making sure that, and, and the website is globalcityofwellness.com, and there, there's a lot of information. There. And, and let the listeners know where they can get your books and where they mm-hmm. can actually go. And, and, and I know you have your function on the 24th, and if you can repeat that as well, that will be great. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, for those who are interested, please give us a call. You can do both. You get some hands on calls at 718. 718- Two two one four three two five, which is seven one eight two two one heal a t a l. Alicia will be on the call, ready to take your registration for any of our program, particularly for Saturday. We also um, are going to be doing teleconference and webinars, so you can call in and be a part of it, no matter where you are on the planet Earth. You can mm-hmm. be with us from twelve to six on Saturday. 
So get down to 10, 20 people in your house. Make a large salad, make some warm water and tea, um, and and go for it with us. Be with us on that day. We'll talk about wellness throughout the day. We'll get you so fired up. You're going to be ready to heal yourself and your whole family <laughs> and your whole Amen community. Amen to that. So it's not mm-hmm. limited. So you just give us a call, and we'll walk you right on through. See, this is better plan. I've been playing this for 43 years. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So I done figured it all out by now. But I knew it by myself. Oh, yeah. I did it with my community. My community asked for certain things, and I went to mm-hmm. my meditation. I went to my detox, and it would just, the revelations would come. Or a client, we just had a meeting with our accountant, and she said, well, we're going to do the non-for-profit, and we just had a three-hour meeting about that so that we can have more of our people engaged and more of our people supported who don't have it. Sometimes we don't mm-hmm. have it. We want to get well, but we don't have the way to get well. So we, right. it's like people, are, it's like satellites. I'm noticing now. Since I become 60, I think it's coming. <laughs> I have to live long enough and strong enough for, for, to magnify the wellness that I want for my people and for global. Because right. we're not in the box by ourselves. Anyway, you can do www.queenoffour.com. You can come in that way. Or you can do www.thecityofwellness.com. And join you us. Go. You can get your books. I have five books out there. I have Man Heal Thyself, which is my latest book, Journey to Optimal Wellness. I have, and so brothers, please read that book. It will inc- I, I cover 22 body members and that you can build every body member together, especially your prostate. As you get older, it starts to wear down. You can build it back up. I also have um, the City of Wellness. The story of the seven kitchens of consciousness for food is medicine. The international soul for kitchen is in there for all the nationalities. Then I have the um, Heal Thyself classical book was written 20-some years ago. It's still happening. It still needs to be done. We have Sacred Woman, and I'm doing every month at a different location with Rally. We're going from city to city with the same work that we're launching on the 24th for your community. You can call and check the date that we're going to be in your city, or you can make a journey here, or you can do it by teleconference or live stream. It's like there's no limitations. Whatever you want, it's going to happen. We're doing it together. Those are the books. And then there's one other book, Overcoming um, an Angry Vagina, Journey to Wellness. People laugh. Laugh yourself right to wellness. It's all about (laughs) not having a hysterectomy. (laughs) There you go. There you go. Uh-huh. And then I'm buying the book for their queens. So my wife, she's going to have an vagina. She's got attitude. Yeah. Okay, well, this is the book she will overcome. You have Amen a happy wife. It makes a happy man, okay? That's right. Queen of Blood has been a pleasure. And you get your formulas. You get your green light for the rejuvenation of tissues and cells. You get your master you herbal formula. To break the addictions. If you're addicted to whatever you're addicted to, you're addicted to a toxic mm-hmm. relationship or addicted to That's just right. a Offer whatever, it will break cigarettes, coffee, whatever, it will break that addiction. We have the colonies and herbal last. I was a colon for 15 years. The colonies herbal last that flushes out years of impaction, worms, gas, parasites out of your colon. With the breath of life, I was an asthmatic as I started out on this, and I had to breathe myself back into life. And so mm. the breath of life is one of those formulas that will help to restore you. And those who cannot afford to get a consultation with me, I put on CD. I have 12 CDs dedicated to whatever the issues are that I want those the same things that I went with Dr. Sheridan in the right. clinic, um, Great Family Practice, it's those same CDs that works in her clinic, and I just recorded them after that year where well, you can get that and you can go over and put, put gather family members who have some of the same issues. Go get your formulas, sure. get your books, get your charts, you're good to go. Now we're There you healing. go. There you go. Queen of Four, I appreciate it. Don't be a stranger to the show. Come back any time, my dear. My dear, it's been a pleasure. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting this movement and doing the work that you're doing. We totally appreciate you. Thank you, my dear. That is my queen and your queen. Next Legacy.